Bibi, who was at uh, the swearing-in at the Gauteng Provincial Legislature. She'll bring us all those details, but we're only three days away from the presidential inauguration, which also happens to fall on Africa Day, May the 25th. So tonight and uh, for the past week, for the rest of the week as well, we're embracing our African heritage, bringing you uh, conversations about the people, politics and culture across our continent, looking at our differences, uh, delighting in those and finding common ground as well. Now, after uh, eight, uh, we'll wa showcase uh, the culinary art of uh, South African chef Katlejo Mlambo. Francis, I'm hoping he's going to bring something for us to <laughs> nibble. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to be made hungry when I'm still on set. <laughs> I know right. that. But that's certainly something to look forward to. All right. So, like we said, uh, some of the focus on the ANC MPs who were on the list but were not sworn in today. Uh, the RAND actually strengthened at one stage. Speculation that that may be uh, because of those somewhat controversial members not pitching up and we're asking you do these last minute withdrawals by ANC parliamentary candidates signal in fact a new dawn that's our question of the day of course uh, please do engage with us remember you can send your comments to hashtag full view and uh, you can send us your voice notes or video call us if you're outside South Africa you use plus two seven six six four seven nine eight zero five six you can also view any of our interviews and features by going to sabcnews.com. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, as well as Twitter. So members of the National Assembly were sworn in at a ceremony today presided over by Chief Justice Mekhweng Mekhweng. And again, the Chief Justice urged MPs to take their oaths of office seriously. The first sitting was opened with the singing of the national anthem. Departing from the norm, Wuhueng invited the designate MPs to observe three minutes of prayer or meditation. Before the oath, Wuhueng had this to say to the MPs. In terms of section 48 of the constitution, members of the National Assembly must swear or affirm faithfulness to the Republic and obedience to the constitution. Nothing else. Obedience to the Constitution. Then it was back to business. Among the first to take the oath was President Cyril Ramaphosa. Thank you. You may return to your seats. Emboldened by their strong showing in the recent elections, which increased their seats in the National Assembly, the Red Berets made a song and dance as they made their way to the front. While comeback kids like Patricia DeLow were received warmly. But missing in the chamber were Deputy President David Mabuza and Umvula Mukonyane. It was announced that Mabuza had withdrawn from the swearing-in pending his meeting with the ANC Integrity Commission. As the ANC, we determined to confront these issues uh, head-on. There's no other way. We must provide better services to our people. Now that MPs have formally been sworn in, all eyes will be on the inauguration of the President and appointment of Cabinet. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.